It is a slightly odd name for a charity, I accept, and we are not raising money for kitchen tables, but the point of... The, one of the selling points, I think, of the charity, uh, part of its ethos, is that we don't spend money on administration. The, the meetings are held, and we only have one a year, around my kitchen table at home. We don't have any paid staff. We don't have any offices at all. All the money that is raised goes to small charities. And that's the other reason for calling it the Kitchen Table Charities Trust, because the charities to which we give money are tiny. You probably, almost certainly, never heard of them, but they do do a brilliant job. And like us, they don't have big offices, etc., etc., etc. They're small charities. But I tell you what, the small amount of money they amount they they are able to raise, they spend fantastically effectively. We have a very clear selection process and we make sure that we don't waste the money and we check up on what they do and I can tell you that they do brilliant things with relatively small amounts of money. So what we do is we find those charities, they come to us now that we've been running for a while, and we give them relatively small amounts of money, five thousand, six, seven, maybe ten thousand, but very rarely more than that, and they do wonders with it for the people who really, mostly children, the people who really, really need it. Often, um, the charity will hear about us and they will come to us directly, but we have enough people now, volunteers, I hasten to say, who go to um, the countries in which we operate a lot, former British ambassadors, for instance, I've got a couple of those who uh, work with me for free, and, um, and they will identify little charities that they've come across over the years or whatever it happens to be, but now we're becoming quite well known in the areas that matter. Let's give you a, an example of the work of the charities that we support. They're in Malawi, and what they do is make wheelchairs for children who don't have wheelchairs. Now, you have to imagine, if you're very poor and you have a disabled child, the mother has to carry that child for many, many, many years. And everywhere the mother goes, the child has to go. So the wheelchairs are given to these mothers. They are then able to have a fairly normal life because they can push the child every other day, they can go and work in the fields if needs be, the child can sit in the... Or, more importantly, the child can go to school. They can't go to school if their mother has to carry them everywhere. So it gives the children a chance to go to school. But there's another dimension that's very important, and that is that they're made locally by people who otherwise wouldn't have any work. So it works on every level. It creates local employment in a very, very poor district. Wheelchairs are given free. They cost almost nothing to make. 120, 130 pounds as against thousands. They're basic, they're very simple, but nonetheless, they do the job. And they quite literally transform the lives of those children and their mothers. But the key factor is that we give money only to people at the very bottom of the ladder, on the bottom rung of the ladder. Uh, and and that, that's really at the heart of it. Uh, we want to make every penny count and we want to try to change lives, to give, basically, to give kids and their mothers, to give them a chance. And if you can teach a child to read and write who otherwise wouldn't have a hope in hell of doing so, you're giving that child a chance to do something with his or her life. And we've given that chance thanks to the many, many people out there who have helped us, uh, we've given that chance to an awful lot of kids. Where do we go from here is, um, is a big question, and the honest answer is I don't know. I think we carry on doing exactly what we're doing. Um, we are getting bigger because more people are here from us, more people wonderfully manage uh, to donate a few quid to us. We don't have huge donors. We're not supported by any of the big organisations, you know, big banks or whatever. Uh, the money comes from ordinary people. And uh, I want to say to all of those people, thank you very, very much indeed on behalf of children whose lives have been changed.